Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Rideshare Revolutionaries. It's me, Gio. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a breakdown of what I've been this whole week. Um, why it was good for some reasons, why it was bad for other reasons. Um, a more in-depth look at like the fuel expenses, because I know you guys always ask me about that. <laughs> Um, I guess I, I guess I trust you guys to do the math on your own sometimes. So I guess I'll just have to do it for you, right? Uh, this week, obviously, because Uber deactivated me, I'm stuck on Lyft and Via. So uh, I guess I'll give you guys a quick rundown of my week on Lyft. Twelve hundred sixty-seven dollars and sixty-nine rides. Um, but I'm actually going to count, I made, I had a $39, uh, I think it was a Lux ride. Yeah, $39 Lux ride at like 4.40 in the morning on Monday. So I'm counting that one towards this week. So on Lyft right now, uh, $13.07, $5 in cash. And on Via, it was $38.77. So let's, let's do the math on that really quick. 1307 plus uh, plus let's just say 39 plus 39 for via plus five dollars in cash is 13 no fuck that fucked up <laughs> plus 39 plus five so 1351 uh, with lift via and cash so it's 1351 and I did take a screenshot of my trip meter and that puts us at 1351 divided by 800. Well, it says 871, but I'm going to eat miles first thing in the morning on Mondays like I usually do. So let's just say 890. So a dollar 51 per mile, right? But keep in mind that's also premium advantage XL, Lux, Lux Black, Lux Black XL. I did not do any shared rides this week, minus like the VIA ones, but they didn't really carpool at all so uh but that's not that's not all of it because as you guys can see on lift on on the lift rewards um sorry about this guys on the lift rewards i got 5300 points which is total to um 50 dollars so i can cash out my rewards and add that to $50, so that brings me to $1401 divided by 890 miles, so $1.57 per mile. Respectable. I've done better. I've done worse. That's pretty respectable. Um, but now uh, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to break down, I'm going to break down, uh, like, what I spent on fuel, so... So for that one, we're going to do 890 miles divided by the current MPG, which is 18.3. And then, so that's 48.6. And then I'm going to multiply that by the average cost of fuel I had for the week. So I spent, I drove about, or yeah, so I drove that many miles divided by the MPG times uh, about $3.30. So that's what I spent on fuel for the week was about $160. So is that 13% of my total um, earnings this week maybe? I'm horrible at math, but I think it's about 13 or 14% um, went to fuel. So my overall expenses for the week, so 1401, you know, 30% you know, of that is expenses. So that's just 1401. 420, so my take home, uh, take home is 981 for the week. Not the best. I'm used to taking home 12 something, uh, but that's what you get when you, <laughs> that's what you get when you, uh, when you got a gas guzzling SUV. And I did make some mistakes this week. I didn't, I think I overslept for the morning rush on Tuesday. I didn't drive at all on Wednesday. Um, I know I overslept Friday. So I, I, I did eat miles a few different times during the week, um, but I still managed to capitalize a little bit because out of the 890 miles I drove, I only drove six days this week, uh, six out of seven, it's not that bad. 
Um, I still manage to drive less than 150 miles per day. But if you notice, my MPG was really low. That means I really didn't get any, a lot of highway rides. I got some. I got a few highway trips, but not that many. And when you don't get that many highway trips, that's when you're, you know, that's when your miles per gallon starts to take a, take a hit. Because my miles per gallon have literally been at 18 since Monday. I think for a very short amount of time yesterday, it was at like 19.1 miles per gallon. Um, so that's kind of what happened. And that wasn't by choice. You know, when I'm, when I'm driving in the city, you know, I definitely, I definitely did use filters in the morning. Like I, like I told you guys, cause I don't want to get stuck with an airport ride at like 5 30, 6 30, 7 a.m. Um, so I was still sticking to the, to the routine I usually do, but I wasn't, um, I just wasn't getting those, those like those end of rush morning or airport rides. Like I usually get. So I think that definitely impacted my earnings. Uh, Monday was kind of a slow day. Tuesday was slow. Thursday, I did all right. Friday, I did okay. Saturday was okay. And then today was kind of lackluster. Today was just kind of middling, a middling day, as you guys know. But um, there's still room for improvement, obviously. I'm really not the best Lyft driver, guys. I'm really not. I was, I mean, on Uber, I can fucking murder it. On Lyft, not as much. Um, but... What was I going to say? I got off topic there. Um, but on, uh, oh yeah, I was going to say with the ride challenge. With the uh, lift right now, I don't know if you guys know how the ride challenge works. The way the ride challenge works is the more times you successfully hit the ride challenge, because right now I'm at the bottom tier, right? So I'm getting, right now my ride challenge is for 29 rides and 39 rides, right? I'll get a bonus at 39, at 29. I'll get another bonus at 39. So you only get to move up in ride challenge the more times you successfully hit that bonus. So as you guys can see, I think last week I did about the same in um, in rides. So if I'm con if I'm um, if I am consistently hitting 70 rides, then I think that's like the third kind of tier of ride challenges. And that's how much that that's, and I'm mostly doing premium rides in the mornings and on the weekends, so you're not getting as many rides, right? Um, yeah. So last week I did 76 rides. Um. So, I don't really want to go above that many rides per week, especially with this kind of car. Uh, when you're running economy, yeah, you're making up. You're, you're getting the higher ride challenge and you're, you're getting the bonus because of volume. There's definitely not a shortage of economy rides on Uber or Lyft. But the thing is, with this one, I don't really want to be sacrificing premium rides for just racking up, you know, total rides and to get the, ride, the, the highest ride challenge. Because I don't think, even the one time I tried going for the highest tier of the ride challenge, I think was 165 rides, I don't think I got it. I think I was at like... 157 or something and the bonus was decent i remember it was like 279 or something like that um but yeah if the ride challenge is around if the second or third you know step of ride challenges is is 70 to 80 rides i could do that so i'll get to look forward to an additional you know maybe 100 to 130 dollars in uh in in ride challenge money so yeah, so that's what I get to look forward to because of fucking Uber fucking me. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's all I got for this one. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Kept it on 10 minutes. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.